Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash is finally out and I'm sure everyone has one question in mind. Should I buy the game or not? And to that I say, you gotta wait. I'm working on my review as fast as I can and I promise it will be out soon, but in the meantime I'll give you guys some gameplay as well as every single ultimate in the game which includes domain expansions ranked on a tier list. That's what we're doing today and in order to do that I actually have to explain to you how this is done, so in a way you will learn a little bit more about the game for sure. So turns out that Curse Clash actually does not have a practice mode. Kind of. You can go into free battle, which is offline only, there's no local versus against another player, but if you go into free battle, you can set it up so the enemy team does not move. You also have control over how much meter you have and if you have infinite resources or not. So it kind of works like a training mode, but you can't set up the training dummy's behavior. So let's say if you wanted to lab a block string or whatever, you cannot set the dummy to block. That said, to check out ultimates, this is more than enough and we'll do all of them against the Joe Goat, because because I know he wouldn't be offended. He knows he would win. Now, once you have full curse meter, most of the ultimate activations are this lunge right here, and he's gonna do one black flash, two black flash, three black flash, and four black flash. This is a B tier. The only thing I like about this ultimate is the final hit. The impact frame, the black and white silhouette are awesome. The rest is just kind of normal. So yeah, that's not a great start for these ultimates, but we move on. Sukuna is up next. Okay, Sukuna's activation is a little bit close range, but here we go. Domain expansion. This is one of those domain expansions that is just an ultimate animation. Oh, I love that overlay. Ooh, Malevolent Shrine looks hella clean. I don't know about the slashes part. The, the slashes part look kind of mid, but then the smile and everything else. Ah, oh, it looked great. It, wait, it one shots? Look at the damage up there. 9999. Oh, and his attacks after domain expansion become just physical attacks. Yeah, he doesn't have cursed techniques anymore for a while. Okay, he's recovered them now. You wanna see my favorite thing to do with Sukuna? <laughs> That's so much damage, too. S tier. I love that animation. That's really good. Let's go into Megumi. I do find that the animation in this game is a little bit inconsistent. It's either really good or really bad. There's usually no middle term. Let's see where Megumi lands here. Big kick into summon Nue. Okay, okay, okay. Big shadows, incomplete domain, obviously. Where did he go? Oh, he's right there. And Nue for the strike. I like it. Yeah, it's good. I think that's an A tier. I don't think it's as good as Sukuna's, but it's not fleet. definitely not as bad as Yuji's. No, but uh, let me give you a heads up. She is going to be the number one problem character during the first week. Like the character everyone hates. She can activate her ultimate from that far away. Yes. And then just snap her fingers and boom, there goes the nail resonance. That's a beautiful shot too. I think, hmm, is that an A tier or an S tier? I think that's on the level of Megumi's, so we're gonna do A tier. Uh, but yeah, week one Nobara, everyone's gonna hate this character. Gojo here is the first one that does not have uh, an awakening move or an ultimate uh, that is just an animation. He has a domain expansion, so we can just activate this anywhere. And if uh, the opponent lets us, domain expansion, cross his fingers, and look at that. That is one to one to the anime. Oh my god, the black hole image too? That's so sick. That's so sick. And uh, just like Sukuna, he deals the damage afterwards. So the domain expansion itself just paralyzes everyone. But as far as animation goes, I think that's an S tier. And it's interesting because it's not even about the character. Like Gojo isn't doing anything. He's just sitting there crossing his fingers. But it's the background animation. It's so good. They really did a one-to-one -to, -one to the anime. And that's, that's awesome. It's beautiful. And also he takes off the blindfold after the domain expansion is done. So that's a nice attention to detail. Okay, Maki is a little bit heartbreaking. Let's activate the ultimate here. And here we go. Everything animation-wise with Maki, I have found underwhelming. Not just the ultimate, but everything else. Like during battle and everything. I love her gimmick. Her combo freedom is off the charts. It's really fun to play as her. But it doesn't feel good because I don't like the animation work. Like, if we watch that again, I don't think that her movements are natural. She doesn't really move like a human, she almost moves like an action figure that a child is manipulating in the air, you know, playing with toys. That's what it looks like to me, and to me that's just really, really bad animation work. So, that's our first C tier. And that's a bummer, because I really like playing as Maki. Alright, Toge, here we go. Activate that. I can't believe he actually goes into the melee range to activate his uh, awakening move. But yeah, then just stops him. And, uh, guess what? This is not gonna feel good, man. This is always oh, all squished up. Yeah, uh, the black there, I think, is supposed to be blood. But because you want to sell this game to kids, you can't just have a bloody game. So uh, I understand uh, A tier. It's pretty solid. Panda time. Panda can just activate his ultimate anytime. He can be uh, just normal panda or he can be in gorilla mode. 
But uh, he will always be gorilla mode in the animation. I love when he comes in as a comet just dropping in on his face. Big punch, grab Jogo, and then spin around and throw him off. I think this is fine. It's like a B tier for me. Nanami. I don't think I have seen Nanamis yet, but let's do it. It's also a lunge activation. Okay. Focus that cursed energy. Run up. Are we going to do Black Flash? We are going to do one Black Flash ratio. I love that Flash animation. That's gorgeous. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's an A tier on the level of Mobata for sure. And what does Toto do, actually? I don't think I've seen this one either. Okay. Big kick. All right. We have another big kick. Swap. I'm over here. That's a black flash kick. Okay. And mid. That's a B for me. Yuta's ultimate has got to be one of the rarest ultimates in the entire game. You'll probably almost never see this. Because uh, in order for him to have his ultimate, you need to have Rika activated. And the conditions for activating Rika are like your ally taking a lot of damage. So you might not see this ultimate a lot. <laughs> here's, uh, here's your chance to see it. Declare your love and big attack. My goodness. That's a beam, right? That's that's gonna be a big. Yep, that's a huge beam right there, and a mushroom cloud. That that's a nuke, huh? Interesting. What? That's also a one shot. Nine 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 damage. Oh wait, he loses Rika too. Ooh, okay. I probably would never use this unless it's like the last kill. If it's the last kill, yeah, sure, go for it, win the game. But losing Rika is a big downside, man. Rika is your win condition. Anyway, uh, more on gameplay later. Oh yeah, and by the way, S tier, I mean, was there ever any doubt? I think we've seen Ghettos from the trailer. He's gonna activate with a kick, okay? Uh, knock him away, and Uzumaki, right? It's just gonna condense all the curses into one big ball. That's a good face. It's a very good face, and here come all the curses. Ooh. I love how clean the Uzumaki was. Oh, cut to black is a bit lazy, not gonna lie. But it was really good up to that point, so uh, let's do another A tier here. I almost gave it an S, but that cut to black, I'm not a fan of that. I don't think I've ever played Ghetto. Okay, summon back. What can I do? I can extend this? Okay, that's a sick combo. <laughs> Mahito is our first real domain expansion, and he shines red. I don't know if you can interrupt it uh, once he gets it started, or maybe you gotta hit him with a, an unblockable attack. But the animation is great, you know? Mouth, hands, always gross. Just always and it is since it is a true domain expansion you're gonna play in this stage like he's actually changing the stage that you're in and he's gonna give you a debuff i think it's a movement speed debuff and uh it definitely buffs mahito as well so here you go big domain expansion uh yeah i think they were very faithful it just doesn't look as good as uh gojo but that's not the animator's fault it's just the domain expansion looks good, just not as good as Gojo's. So, A tier. From all the characters we've seen so far, Hanami is probably the character that wants to go into an ultimate attack the most. Because that's the only way that Hanami can release the left arm. And the left arm permanently buffs Hanami for the rest of the game. So, uh, Flower Field, knock him up to the sky. And, oh! Okay, that final impact just sold me there. No, that's good. That's that's an S tier. I was gonna give it an A, but that final impact takes it a step above. That's really awesome. Yeah, I don't know what the buff is, but I think the curse techniques come out faster? Maybe. I, I need to study Hanami a little bit. Esso and Kechizu! Okay, you're just gonna slap him to start. Okay, okay. You're gonna say some. Extend the the rot. Rot wings, let's call it. Oh, Kechizu has covered you now. It's a good zoom in on the, the opponent. Get stabbed. Here's some flowers. Oh, that's it? Okay, not a big impact in the end. It's just like, uh, I'm being poisoned. I feel like animation wise, it's above B tier, but it's the choreography that I just didn't like. So yeah, yeah, B tier. And finally, he's been taking a beating all day, but now it's his turn. The Joe Goat also has a true domain expansion. If you just let him do his own thing, he's going to expand his domain and all of this volcano is just going to form up around him. I love this animation so much. Especially this. Oh, the eye glint is also so good. And yeah, then you just play in the domain. I think the opponents take uh, damage over time. I, it's barely noticeable for me, but uh, that, that's what the description says. But just for the animation of the volcano arising and then the eye glint, that's an S tier for me too. And with that, we have looked at all 16 characters and placed their ultimates on a tier list. Let me know if you agree with my takes or if you would change anything here. I'm working on the review as fast as I can, but in the meantime, here's some gameplay for you to start getting a feel for what the game is like. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.